all right youtube so while i watch my favorite uh, youtube videos i'll uh <clears throat> let you see this video that i uh shot early in the morning today discussing how i uh achieved the uh higher uh speed on my bike really not making much of a difference uh into uh, any uh components except just uh pretty much tuning the uh uh, Kelly control it. All right. So enjoy that video. And I'll talk to you then Hey, what's going on YouTube? So uh, <clears throat> It is Tuesday August 8 2023 um, Sorry, it's so dark, but I figure I shoot the video regardless in darkness since I'm at work So we did a little bit tuning well raised up a couple of things here and there a couple couple uh, settings and uh, I, in my previous videos, you'll see that, you know, I've set the bike and I started from top end and I, I put it at 100 percent. Then I put it at 90 percent. Then I put it at 80 percent. And I think the lowest I've done, if I'm not mistaken, which is I which is which I'm not really sure was 70 percent. And the controller or the battery kept uh, shutting me down with the BMS. So. This time we went the opposite way. I did 50% for quite some time. Then I did 55 for the longest. And uh, last weekend, I, I, well, the week before that, I put on 60. I wrote it on, uh, um, you know, depleted battery. He wasn't fully charged. It was like at uh, 70. And it kind of felt sluggish, maybe because it was only at 70. And uh, it kind of felt like the bike was hesitating, which I says, okay, it's a possibility. Maybe, you know, the 60s is a little bit too much. I mean, obviously, it's uh, lower than 100 or 90 or an 80 or 70. So I, uh, I left it at 60. Um, weekend came over, I charged it to a uh, nice 84 steady, I charged it at one amp, so it charged for about a day and a half, it got good, uh, stable, balanced, charged, and, uh, I uh, unplugged it, and this was on Saturday, uh, I was going with 24 ride, and, uh, I lowered it to 67, did I, I'm sorry, 57. I lowered it to 57 because I left it at 60. I said, let me lower it to uh, 57 because I had a 55. So now, long story short, this is where the kicker comes in. Um, and I hate wasting people's, you know, time. So I call up Tony. I says, yo, bro, um, you know, I'm not running late, but uh, I'm leaving my house in about 10 minutes. I should be there another additional 20, 20, 20, 25 minutes, right? He goes, oh, dude, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. Whenever you come, you come, which is cool, right? But again, I hate wasting people's time, right? So when I have plans, I know that it's not only me that I have planned or it's not only, uh, you know, me that I have to adjust to somebody's time, but also, you know, they have to adjust to your time. So we both come together and we both do, you know, what we enjoy, which is riding bikes. So anyway, and I say, you know what, um, man, I don't feel like going and, 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 you know, hitting all these lights and taking these small streets and, and, uh, you know, sitting in traffic and going around the traffic. It's, it's, it's such a, such a, you know, bullshit dilemma. And I was like, you know, let me give it a shot. So of course I get on the highway. Right. And, uh, I, you know, I'm going to the highway. It's, it's feeling normal, just like any other bike. Um, uh, then I get, I get onto, onto a ramp. Fine. I start accelerating and then I accelerate. And I'm going and going and going, and I'm not paying attention. And I use my cell phone for a uh, GPS uh, a tracking, right? And I'm, you know, I'm looking, and this is this is a highway, and I'm looking, I'm passing other people, and then I'm like, even with with other cars, I'm like, well, how fast am I going? And I'm I'm looking at my speedometer, and I'm doing like 66 miles an hour. I'm like, holy shit. And then, you know, I kind of like freaked out and I'm, I'm looking at my uh, my handlebars and they're kind of like, they're not wobbly, but they're not steady either. Um, so I says, holy crap, I'm doing 66. 
and I'm not like a speed demon, you know, where I want to do 70, 80, 90. I would want my bike to be capable of, of doing those high speeds. But um, would I be always doing, you know, uh, uh, 70, 75, 80, 85? Heck no. Um, so I was like extremely surprised because I was just like, I had at 50, it was sluggish. Top speed was like 50. Then I brought it up to 55. You know, so a, a decent, decent difference. You know, it, I went very small percentage because I went from like 50 to uh, 55, 58 <coughs> on a bike. And I was like, okay, that's, that's decent. And then I only went, um, you know, two numbers. I went from 55 to 57. So in six, seven and my, my speed went from, let's say 55, steady 55, um, uh, or 58 when I, when I go on a flat land, I just, let's just say 55. So I went from 55 to literally 66 miles an hour. Um, which is considered fast. I don't, I don't really need to go any, any faster because I think at 65, most cars don't even do 65. They'll do maybe like 60. So you can keep up with cars on the highway. You don't necessarily will deplete your battery so quickly. And, uh, you know, you can use that speed for, you know, some time. So I went, I literally went one exit, which, which was far enough for the battery to shut down. Uh, if that was the problem, but again, we didn't set it at a hundred. We didn't set it at a 90, which we already experimented. And we, we know BMS will shut me down. Um, we didn't set it at 80 because I know my bike will, will shut me down at 90 and 80. Um, because it's very violent. And then when I had it set at 57, I literally got 66 miles an hour top speed. And this is done on GPS. So it's amazing. So, you know, I got I got to Tony's house. I'm like, bro, guess what? And he goes, oh, I showed him, dude, 66 miles an hour on a bike. He goes, holy shit, dude, that's crazy. And then we went for a ride. We had a fucking the best ride ever, okay, because we had good speed. Um, I felt comfortable. He felt comfortable. It was a Saturday. It was a good weekend, good afternoon, great weather, sunny, a little humid, but sunny, dry. Uh, was not busy at all. I don't know if sun is ever, ever busy. And we went to good spots. I never hesitated on a throttle. We've done higher speeds, which it was only done because of the purpose of me checking if the bike is going to behave nicely. Um, he, he and I, we know that you know we're not speed demons, but again, you know, it feels it feels nice to go faster where where it's completely you know like open roads like um, Highland Boulevard all the way by the conference house. That that, that thing is completely freaking open wide, unlike when you go all the way um, to uh, let's say Bay Street in Highland, where you got car dealers and stores and everything else you, you can't really go that fast but uh you know i, I want to shoot this video just to show you guys what a difference it makes where you are at 50 and you know um 57 so i guess if you have a kelly and again my bms is only continuous uh, uh operation 50 amps peak is 100 so i'm not really i don't really have a crazy powerful battery. I have a stable battery, but not crazy powerful battery. And you know, I'm talking about like 150, 200 amps, 400 amp discharge, like you know, lithium, lithium, uh, uh, lithium, like like the uh, Mali cells. You know, they got crazy 45 amp discharge. So imagine, anyhow. So I guess if you have a Kelly, right, the, the 100, 120 amps at 360 uh, uh, peak amps, and if you have you know, a, a 50, 50 amp hour battery at, uh, you know, 50 amp continuous and, and 100 peak. If you set your Kelly at 57 uh, percent, not, not, not current, but because you have a, a battery current is 50 and the Kelly's controller is operating at 57 percent, right? So if you have that combination and you put it at 57%, you are going to be doing 66 miles an hour. 
and I'm a heavy dude. I'm 255 pounds. So if you are featherweight, like let's say 180 that I know people, they'll be flying with that bike. No questions asked. And then if, 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 so what I originally did now, um, I raised up, obviously, you know, like shit. I raised up the, uh, the percentage 1% to 58. And since 2% give me, you know, get me from 55 to let's say 65 that's 10 10 miles of a difference in speed so what if i do another percent would that put me at 70 do you see what i'm saying the way the calculation goes i believe right and we're gonna see uh, this coming weekend that it will bring me five miles an hour because i was at 55 and now I raised it two percent. Now it's sixty-five. So if that's if that's the theory, if if that's how it works, um, I am again two percent up at sixty-six miles. Let's say at sixty-fifth. We're gonna run it off, right? At sixty-five uh, miles an hour, and I was at fifty-five. So that means the two percent uh, raised uh, uh, Kelly gave me ten miles. So if I raise, which I have, additional percent, it will be 15 miles over. So that means I will be doing 70 miles an hour. Um, so the goal is to continue until the bike misbehaves or, or, or kind of gives me a hiccup and I guess shuts me down, which I really don't want to because then I got to plug in and, um, you know, wake up the BMS. Um, but... I guess we'll we'll do a nice you know weekend run. Um, I did about thirty eight miles last time, and I was less depleted. I was less depleted than before, because I was literally at seventy one. Even Tony says like, "Dude, how the hell are you seventy one?" I noticed that when um, when you have a stronger bike, you don't fully accelerate all the time because it's so strong and so aggressive. And I also noticed that you don't use the throttle as much as you would use before. And of course, the third th thing is that you respect the throttle more than you did before. Because, you know, every time you press that throttle, that, bike's, that bike really takes off. And that's responsibility. Um, you know, when I got on a highway, it's easy. But when you're on local, you know, uh, kind of like... Um, you know, halfway, you know, halfway highway roads, it doesn't matter. You still got people driving, you know, uh, kids crossing, red lights and st stuff like that. So you, you still got to be responsible. So, yeah, I was at 71. I've done 38. So um, it seems like I will be able to do still, let's say, 48 or 45 miles in range or even doing that, you know, aggressively. But, again, we'll, uh, we'll see. I want you to stick around. So you can uh, figure it out. If I am doing the calculations the way the way they look, um, I should be doing next week, let's say, seventy miles an hour. Um, God, if 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 I bring this bike to seventy miles an hour, uh, man, unstable. Even though these these are motorcycle uh, wheels, tires, and all that. But uh, again, stick around. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You're the first time here. Um, you know, comment down below if you have any questions, how, what, and where. Um, and share this video with, with a bunch of guys so they can come over to this channel and experience this this nice uh, journey, you know, with us. And uh, check out the videos. I posted some videos with some good speeds. Uh, none of these videos were top speeds, okay? Um, you know, there were maybe 60 mile an hour runs. I, uh, I'm not a, you know, crazy devil. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, stick around and uh, again any comments questions hit me down below uh, we've done great with our uh, technical support helped out even more people uh, with uh, small issues small problems where other companies will charge you arm and a leg and uh, you know we didn't charge you much I believe that I have the cheapest resolution or cheapest answers or you know out there uh, because I literally don't charge a lot compared to what a shop will charge you how to do it. Yes, you have to do it yourself. You have to fix it yourself. But I 
guide you step by step of what to do. So it's like you do it your own, on your own, and you learn how to do it. So you don't have to any longer call anybody and ask how I do it. Um, it is better to do these things on your own so you gain the experience and you can continue doing things on your own rather than give somebody 150 200 hours do it for you but you never seen it has it been done and you don't know how it's been done so you haven't gained an experience you gave your money but you didn't learn anything so yes you pay me okay and uh, I'll teach you and I'll show you so you know it so you no longer have to pay for that skill you know, you, you're paying for a service, and there's, there's no doubt that I'm not going to give you that service. Um, every every person that I have done service with, they are very happy. They are very thankful. Uh, they are very humble. They keep in contact with me. Um, you know, I've done texting, uh, uh, um, uh, Zoom conference. I've done lots of things, and it always worked out. And again, they always tell me, you know, local shop would have charged me $200. And I would never even learn how to do it. Okay. So, again, if, if you got issues, problems, let me know. I'll send you a, a link from PayPal. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll pay your fee and we'll go from there. And I guarantee you, 99.9%, we, we take care of the issue, which we never had a problem. And uh, you'll be a happy customer. Until then, I went a little bit too far. But I'm sorry I had to do it because uh, I'm happy to help everybody, of course. And, uh, uh, folks, uh Right safe and wear your gear for sure. Take care.